everybody, here we are with another part of Planet Zoo. Thank you for joining me today, and we are here with... Uh, what is the zoo called again? Um, Myers Lake Island Zoo. Uh, situated in a sun-dredged uh, corner of Greece, Myers Lake Island Zoo is Domestic Myers first uh, for into the world of building uh, of the zoo. As such, he started small and scrammed as much into it as he could. These two elements have combined to make some but unsuperpar zoo, so there's plenty of room for improvements. Well, I already did this. Um, the reason for this, I already pre-recorded like uh, I think one and a half an hour, so it's really unfortunate. Unfortunately, the game crashed, so we're just going to take a look on what I did and what your objectives were. Uh, in the beginning, you are required to basically make sure that the animals that were like really crappy, the most of these exhibits were really awfully lit, were really awful, the, the, the animals were not happy, uh, most of them had <laughs> not a good environment, and that's what you had to, you had to fix. Um, uh, you also don't you have res uh, terrain restrictions. You cannot um, change the terrain, so that's something that you have to take care of. Uh, you have to um, make sure in the first that you have around uh, one hundred pound guests, and also make a profit of fifty thousand. Well, that one is both are fixed. That wasn't too difficult. Uh, afterwards, we were required to uh, get a grizzly up. Uh, that is where we have built it. This small exhibit. Um, for the grizzly bear, here we is. A small male grizzly bear, not bad at all, is it? I think it's not bad. Here he is. Um, and also uh, for the last mission that we're still doing, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because it's just going to be waiting around until I get like enough of that. But uh, this episode is just going to be me showing off the other zoos. Next episode uh, there will be a normal uh, playthrough for that. So sorry guys. Uh, but for me, uh, just doing it all over again, it's not going to be re uh, enjoyable for me. And it also will cost me time that I'd rather spend on recording some other stuff. Uh, this is just a small episode for you guys to see the um, series. So, so sorry again, but again, thank you for joining me here today. Next episode, we're going to do the, go, into the, the go to the next uh, scenario. And we also get to go and get a Siberian tiger. I think they actually, they definitely look a bit more bulkier. Although I would say the fur is not as, uh, what you see like in... They don't have like these long straps that most of these barren tigers like. They don't they don't look too furry. They're a bit too uh, streamlined or streamlined. That is, I think it is um, with their coat. I would say this bit it has to be a bit more roughened than that's what is that there. But I think they look good. Um, that's only commentary on that. And I think this zoo as well. It looks actually quite good. Just a little normal speed because most of the things are fixed. So yeah, this is a bit how this entire zoo looks. Uh, I think it looks quite nice. It is really uh, it feels like a small uh, city, as it were, because of all these buildings and such. So that's not bad. And um, over here we got an old savanna uh, type area for the animals. I still have to, like implement a power thing over here, but I'm not going to do that previously because previously the game crashed, so we're not going to do that. Um, so yeah, this is Mara Zoo. Um, over here, if we go on. We have the Gemsbok exhibit. Uh, first, I was here in an, uh, an uh, hyena, but that was far too uh, small. I actually forgot that I had to place in some food, so let's do that for them. I have not done that yet, sorry. So, let's give you some food, eh? I'm very sorry. And I must say, the placement in this uh, scenario is quite, has been quite iffy. You can't really change the terrain that much, so that's a bit unfortunate and over here we're actually going to combo exhibit between african buffalo and bison um, because it actually worked and i was surprised about that i think it would possibly work they're sort of the same type of animals although they're possibly these uh, i would not i would not say which ones are they more dangerous but I've, it seems to have worked in the end so uh combo between african bison and uh african buffalo and american bison so uh, that's that and over here again we got the Siberian Tigers and down here we got the hyena exhibit nothing special just a terrain uh, used exhibit for the hyenas it's like a small cave that they can get in and um, yeah here are the hyenas if I'm correct somewhere here they are and uh, this is the hyena exhibit um, 
and that was that one. And I think that's the last one. You also have to like exhibit animals, but those ones aren't too special, I would say. But <laughs> um, I think that are all the animals that are in this small zoo. So yeah, it's really up to you how you build this up. I possibly shouldn't allow the guests to walk here, so I possibly shouldn't. But anyway, this is the uh, staff area, island, again, there are also quite a lot of staff areas here all around it, but you don't really see them because it's really quite well cloaked. So, I think it is uh, really cool how they've built it, this zoo is well done to the builders who built this, so nicely done. And uh, yeah, uh, this is Myers uh, Lake Island Zoo, but now going to the, uh, going to the other two uh, zoos that I finished, I finished the... Um, Cradle, uh, Cradle, Great Cradle Safari Park in uh, Maple Leaf Wildlife Park. So, um, so yeah, I will be there in a sec. Well, this is the Great uh, Cradle uh, Safari Park. Uh, in the end of the video, we're actually going to uh, start the what is it, the Myers Zoo again because the interest is quite interesting because that I think that this sort of going to play along with the campaign. So, I think it is really important for you guys to still see that. So, um. Uh, does a bit around that because actually there's quite an interesting part that's going to be in the story and also has to do with the guy that we're working with right now that is somewhat different than Bernie uh, but that will be explained in that as well. so uh, right now I have actually uh, <coughs> finished it um, there was not too much that I had need to do I just used the center of the this park uh, this part of the park as two last um, exhibits for uh, two hippos Two uh, male hippos and um, two female hippos. Oh, sorry. So, oh, Jesus. A male and a female hippo. And over here we got two uh, male lions. Because at the time I couldn't get a female one. So, And also one thing you maybe did not know yet. Uh, you can actually import all the zoos that you use in career mode uh, into a sandbox file. So that's quite interesting as well if you wanted to know that. But um, that's just for you, the guys, the people that wanted to know. Uh, about uh, such a development, but uh, okay anything uh, more to say about this? Um, yeah, I think again this is um, possibly um, uh, I already explained but there's more that I still need to do is but uh, the reason uh, What I could do of course is just really build the zoo up build it really nice up and make sure that it looks really good uh, I think uh, I would possibly do it if I had like the time as a full-time youtuber. I just I don't I am not I just don't have the time to do that. Uh, I also have to go to do uh, schoolwork, and I also have to go and go some do some other stuff. So around that time, I just don't have the time to do that. Plus, I think it would be more enjoyable to me do some, some sandbox mode for the people that, of course, want to like finish up the suit. That's perfect. But I think also it's nice for you guys to see. Okay, what do the campaigns hold? What kind of missions there are, and that is possibly. Uh, but it's for me like the enjoyment out of it and I also can have a little bit of a challenge and the objective is what I can do so yeah that's a bit that and um, that's a bit my explanation about I think why I don't decorate as much um, sometimes I do like with the next part we're going to uh, see I think that's a little bit of decorate while I sometimes or should do more but anyway that is just a bit what I think about uh, the overall friend career mode for me at least of course for people who want to uh, decorated on themselves, that's totally fine, of course. But uh, yeah, that is the uh, Lion Hen Hippo exhibit. Now let's go to Maple Leaf Wildlife Park and uh, see that little part. Here we are, we are at Maple Leaf Wildlife Park and we're going to jump them right away on what I've built it uh, for the final version of the zoo. Uh, what we possibly I would have done if I had ever wanted to and I had more time for doing it. As I said, I don't want to decorate as much. If I would uh, do that, of course, I would have like built this like quite nicely and possibly would have um, built it, all these exhibit differently. But right now, um, that's just not the case, as I said in the previous episode, uh, previous park. So right now we're going to go above. Uh, this is the long walkway, uh, really natural, um, all natural paths I actually use, I think, here. Except from... Now I actually use all the natural path except from here, so I think that's quite nice. Has some uh, yeah, feel to it. And over here we are uh, having the terramium house uh, with the Goliath uh, reptiles. The the, the the this is the house called the Goliath monster, sorry, um, and the python boa contractor, sorry, the boa contractor, not python. Um, but yeah, that's that. And over here we go and see the. Uh, staff building and the broken water pump 
and uh, some decoration in the form of some wo uh, some wolves and some pups and some cone of bison. Over here we got a little bit of a food area for the guests if they want to buy something. Over here again a little south area uh, for power as well as uh, some food for the leopards. Uh, for the snow leopards and over here if you go in you will see the snow leopard enclosure it's actually from the workshop um i am pretty sure this is not the correct height for it but i can actually not change the height so that's the reason why and also uh, i wanted to do a more a nice normal pond but what i've done done is actually build that with my uh, what is it uh, the glass barriers or one of the barriers uh, so i have like a small pond here that comes out in the water that you have here so uh, that is that. Um, are there any more things that I should note for this park? No, I don't think so. Um, I think that this possibly this park from all the games that I have played, I think was the most enjoyable. Just because it was more my own idea and still with the challenge, I think um, it was quite nice. But also seeing the parks like that, uh, the creators have built, really give you uh, also some in ideas for your own parks. And I personally didn't the previous one, like buildings like some really... Uh, maybe some really staff houses is actually quite cool what they sort of implemented there like really just they look like normal uh, buildings and like houses for people so that's definitely something you might go and implement instead of just having it as a really staff room they're just going to do it as a sort of staff building etc etc and those things you actually can like can build in the middle of the zoo um, so yeah that's definitely something we might want to do at some point but anyway um, I think that's going to be all. So let's go to uh, the introduction of the, uh, the Myers Zoo. So I see you all in a sec. This one. Um, I hope. I hope I still save it. But um, well, squeezing the margins. Situated in the sun. Oh, I already said that. So anyway, let's go in and let's see what the introduction holds. It's quite interesting. So uh, I see you in a sec when the game starts. Got some news. A week ago, Bernie went missing in the Arctic. Ha, I know. I only just found out. Apparently, our illustrious board of governors decided it was best not to tell anyone while the search parties were still out looking for him. But a few days ago, they called off the search. And they hadn't found him. So, they had him declared legally dead. Just so they could sell off all of Bernie's zoos. Everything, from the aardvarks to the zebras. They didn't even wait for Bernie's daughter, Emma, to get back from overseas before they cashed in. They offloaded the whole company to a slimy hedge fund manager called Dominic Myers. Mark my words, he only wants the zoos to help buff out his tarnished image. Anyway, I guess he's your new boss now. Not mine, though. He fired me. Ah, oh, upsetting. Good luck. I know you'll do your best. I know you'll protect the animals. Of course I will. Alright, so yeah, Bernie is more or less dead. But, um, yeah. Ah, oh, there you are. Now, first, let me say how sorry I am that we're meeting in such awful circumstances. I was a great admirer of... Benjamin. Wait, no, Bernard, Bernard. You may not know this, but we were actually very good friends. That's why it's going to be such an honor to continue his life's work of letting people pay me to see animals. I can see you're still sad, though. Perhaps this will lift your spirits. I'm making you senior zoo manager. It's a position of great responsibility, although these same wages. I've also bought a new zoo which you're going to be in charge of. It's a bit of a fixer-upper, but it's nothing you can't handle. All you have to do is make the animals happy, get those annoying protesters to leave, expand the zoo a squash, adopt a grizzly bear and a Siberian tiger, make sure the zoo is extremely profitable, and then just pass a teeny tiny little inspection. Trust me, you'll have more spare time than you know what to do with. Oh, and I don't uh, also, think so. you have to research some bears or something. No, I forget the details. Well, that is the park if you when you start it. It's basically a total mess, as you can maybe see. All the animals are not in the right uh, position. They all have some really bad habitats. It's all small. They're all packed. Uh, this, like as you can see, that's why they have the you know out like this, the half of what they need. And over here, you got these zebras in these really small enclosures. It's such like whole, very small. So that's where you start off. So yeah, Bernie is dead. I felt I think he might be dead until the end of um of the campaign. 
of the year, or he might be coming along at some point, or uh, he will be back in an Arctic DLC. I'm not sure. Uh, it depends a bit. I am not sure. So we'll have to see how that all will go and how it will out. So I hope you enjoyed so that this uh, up to date uh, video part just to show off the uh, the zoos and such. So in next uh, in next episode we're going to start with that uh, new uh, zoo. So again, thank you for watching. If you think I des uh, deserve a like, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel and want to stick around, don't forget um, to hit that uh, to hit that. Uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you can keep up to date so again thank you for watching and see you all in the next one have a great day and goodbye